that happen to you? People resisting you at all angles. And, and later this afternoon, we're going to talk about the four R's of resistance. When people are resisting you, resisting your message, and then they're not purchased, there's one of four reasons why they're not purchasing from you, and you need to be able to identify those. Because closing complaints. Again, as you felt, there's a time and place for closing, but for the most part, it's not something you need to focus on. You need to open people up. People say it's the transparent ploys. And you've seen this before at an audio video store, a furniture store, a car like, I can't believe you used that on me. I, went, <laughs> go buy, I was buying a car, and I said, you're kidding, right? You've been, that went out 20 years ago, and they kind of turned red. It's, it doesn't work anymore. The kid would amount to nothing. Wow. Should she be shot? That destroyed his life, and guess what happened? Failed out of school, got jobs, got fired, tried businesses, failed, 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 and then he was just a failure. He couldn't believe it. He wanted to be successful, but he had this programming that he had to deal with. And so he finally realized that if he could change the way he thought and change some things in his life, he could change his success. And he got into real estate and became a billionaire with a B in real estate in Australia. And once he made his first billion, he decided to write a book, and it was titled, Miss Phillips, You Were Wrong. You Were Wrong. And every single one of us, we have a Miss Phillips in our life, don't we? Someone that doesn't believe in us. Isn't that a strange thing? As entrepreneurs, or you go out and things, you're excited about something, and you tell your family and friends, and what do they do? They spit on your dreams. They're dream spitters. That's what they do. Now, I'm not going to go to the psychology behind that, but they see that spark in your eye. They see you doing things that you've always wanted to do, and they either consciously or subconsciously are going to pull you down. It's important. So one of the biggest obstacles is fear. We have fears that are holding us back. Now here's the reality, the important thing to understand. There, you were only born with two fears in life. A newborn baby has two fears. What are they? Fear of falling. What else? Fear of loud noises. So all these little fears of rejection, of criticism, people even have the fear of success. That's an amazing one, because they think they'll have to keep it up and keep making money while they keep being successful. Fear what other people are thinking. Fear criticism. They have been learned. The fear of public speaking, they have been learned. So if you've learned them, guess what? You can unlearn them. And that's critical. They're locked up in your brain. You can't just ignore them. They are there. And that's the amazing thing. Public speaking is the number one fear. It's higher than death. As Jerry Seinfeld says, people would rather be in the casket than giving the eulogy. <laughs> doesn't make a lot of sense when you talk about fear. And it's important that we face fear in the face. I'm not talking about psychosis. I'm talking about looking at our fears, going out there and doing it and making it happen and addressing them. Because we all have these little things. Some of the big fears are the fear of criticism. We're so concerned about what other people think of us. We're so concerned. Parents, neighbors... And I learned early on that you wouldn't be so concerned what other people think about you when you realize how little they do. They aren't spending their whole day thinking about you and what you're doing, your failures and your weaknesses. They're not. They don't have time. They have their own lives. And that's a beautiful thing about this is that this is your future. I don't care about your past. You can decide right now how successful you want to be. It's the mental skills, the universe. This is so important to understand. The universe will not reward you physically until you believe it mentally. Let me repeat that. The universe will not reward you physically until you believe it mentally. You have to create it mentally first. If you want to become financially independent, if you want to become a millionaire, you have to become a mental millionaire in your mind before it's ever going to happen or you're going to sabotage yourself. And you have to get past this criticism. Napoleon Hill says... The fear of criticism robs man of his initiative, destroys his power of imagination, limits his individuality, and takes away his self-reliance. Wow. Look at those words. Initiative, imagination, individuality, and self-reliance. That's what fear is doing in your life. You're avoiding the things you need to do. You need to do. Success is an open book test. Wealth is an open book test. There's no secret. The answers are there. You just have to start doing them and get past those fears. And I think when you look at success and becoming financially independent, for many...